it really is like a, a slice of life. It gives the slice of life feeling, you know? <gasps> Yo, there's a new anime trailer! Alright, let's take a look at this new anime trailer. <gasps> Chat, are you all ready? Oh, I thought that's Flora, isn't it? Timaeus. Oh, he had an animal slime. Oh, it's all the NPCs. All the food, too, in anime style. Oh, who's that? Who's that? Is that Anna? In the statue's hands? Oh, it's a Sealy. And now we're in S uh, Springvale. There's Dragon Spine. Oh, and the Dawn Winery. That couple that always stay, sits at Star Snatch Cliff. Oh, even the heli troll. Yo, that heli troll is rubbing its butt. <laughs> oh, Storm Terror's lair. Oh, that's Ella Musk. Interesting. I feel like when people first heard about animation project, you know, from the previous uh, special program, the 3.1 like live stream, people assumed that it would be an anime series. But maybe this is the project. Yeah, Tart, you don't think it was a ufotable trailer? It doesn't seem that way. Yeah, maybe that is the project because if we look at the... We go back to the page. It says scenery and sentiment monstad edition and what we did see was yeah all of the monstad npcs we saw the full region we saw you know the hilly churls and we saw dragon spine it was a lot of environments and side characters that we recognize as well as you know other sites that are familiar to us Oh wait, this is not Ufotable. This was produced by Hoyoverse and Sun Creature Studio. Oh, so it's not the project. So it's just it's just something that they put out. But it feels like this will be a series as well because it says Monstad Edition. So wow, that was two minutes and 20 seconds chat. That did not feel like two minutes and 20 seconds. It felt longer and shorter at the same time. For sure, what what it did feel was here, I'll play it again. I don't know, it's this song for me. The song is so nostalgic. Yeah, you can see the crabs on the beach where we first fell and then the sunsetias. And like, going through this made me realize, hey, like, I might not know a lot of Genshin lore, but I know all these things at least. <laughs> you know? It really is like a, a slice of life. It gives the slice of life feeling, you know? We even see like Levan and uh, one of the guys from the Adventurers Guild. I get a warm feeling in my chest because I feel like even though these characters aren't like real, they still have a lot of memories for us, you know? They've been here since the beginning of our journey. Even though Mondstadt isn't really like a core focus in the uh, main story quest, it's nice because it's really familiar. You know, it's like the region you, you go back to for for easy tailies <laughs> and easy ley lines. But there are like 
you know, iconic things about it too. Yeah, the Windrise Tree Tower in Storm Terror's Lair. Yeah. Pody, can't believe it's been two years since a lot of our journeys began here in Teyvat. Yeah, right? It doesn't feel like two years. I think for me, Chad, my limit is actually like two years <laughs> to be invested in like a game or something. So we will see if Hoyo can... I, I think I can... I think I can keep my interest for longer because you know i have i have you guys now too so <sighs> oh, i had to i had to take a second in the middle of the trailer chat because because i didn't want to i didn't want to cry 